And so that's Oakland. That give you a glimpse at how how Too Short got started, how he came up with his 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 uh his image. You know what isms. I mean? The isms <laughs> started feeding it to it, started feeding it to us because we the generation right after him. You know what I mean? And so I remember going to school and hearing, oh, you don't like me to call you like that? You like to have, you like to, but I'm like, what is this? Because up until that point, I'm hearing hip hop, hip to my Adidas. We hearing a lot of that. But at the same time, what we we seeing what you talking about, mm-hmm. even though we not hearing it on the East Coast, we seen we seen pimping and drug selling and all of that shit. It yeah, just no wasn't doubt. in the music, and so some people may call that pimp hop. I've heard pimp hop. I be, mean, in the message, he talks about pimp. Shit. He does. He go through everything that he's seeing in the street, walking down the street. My auntie was the first person I heard ever rapping the message. Yeah, that's that. She a, knew that song word for word. That was the coldest song. Nothing before that it was anything like that. Period. So would you say that's the that's the birth of reality rap? He ushered in a whole new genre of hip hop. Yeah, a whole new style. Cause not long after that, Run DMC was like, "It's like that," and, and that's, that's the way. It was so many facts. songs that like you almost had to have your reality song. Yeah, like give me a little bit of your reality. I was I I'm doing songs like the ghetto. Yeah. I'm just looking at the streets like you. One of my favorite two short songs. Like ghetto. like rap music. That's when like Chuck D said we the CNN when we really started telling you what we see. Yeah, and it. You know, it's it's at a point now where we like to uh, over exaggerate in the in the first person, mm-hmm. but at the same time, whatever, man, whatever. Right. I do, I do not get offended by where hip hop went to, because yeah. I always feel like um, it's allowed to do what the it wants to do. So if you sit over there and say Rap, it ain't supposed to be doing that, I'm like, you, you I gonna, hate that too. You gonna get your feelings hurt because you I can't tell hip hop what to do. Cannot tell, can't tell it, you can't tell hip hop who can't get money. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. a little slip on the internet right now from butt fuck Iowa somewhere and, and, whole and game don't up. need your permission. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And and the whole game up, and that's how really- we came in the game too. Was looking, I'm sitting there looking like, all right, I got Houdini, the Kumo D, Grandmaster Flash, um, Run DMC. LL Cool J, it's Styles. It's, it's, it comes along, um, Public Enemy and and Eric B and Rakim and 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 EPMD. And I'm looking at where do I fit in? Mm-hmm. And you know, you had to have your space. So there's a certain way you dress. If another rapper was dressing like that before you, you whack. You 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 can't you can't have a space. Right. If a person had a certain sound in their voice and you mimic that. Not letting you in. You had at that time, you had to dance in between the rain, the hip hop raindrops. Mm. Like you can't be anything that ha- you can't even get on stage. We all on the same show. It's five, six, seven acts. If you do something that somebody else is known for doing, like we, bro, you whack. Yeah. Like, you just whack. It one, was literally one, one there, dance off move, the stage. one hairstyle, anything. You can't even like if somebody beat you to the punch on the show that went on before you and did one of your calling responses. You can't bring that back later. Right. Only one that was a go-to was say, <laughs> that's scream. Cool. Everybody could use that. Yeah, but if you get into some specific breakdown of how you make the crowd rock and somebody copy that, whack. And so I'll fight you backstage. 100%. <laughs> and it happened before, too, because that's how hip-hop used to be. 